Hi guys, it's Zoe here. As promised, I've made a glory of the dominant raider guide. I've listed each achievement timestamped in the description below so you can skip to a specific one you're curious about. Make sure you track all of your achievements when you're doing them so you know they're done correctly. Anyway, let's start the tarot room. So the first achievement is name a better duo, I'll wait. This achievement requires you reunite buttons with Moiraz. During the miss phase, Buttons is on one side of the room and Moiraz is on the other. To safely reunite these two, a player with movement speed needs to take the anima power oddly intangible key. Once the miss phase starts, locate and click on Buttons, then zoom across the room to Moiraz. You need to reunite them only once, but this needs to be done before the end of the miss phase. Most classes with some movement can make the run. Overall, this achievement is a pretty easy one to start on. The second achievement, I wish you were here, requires you engage and push the eye to its final phase where it starts casting immediate extermination. Once you've entered this phase, a player needs to click on the camera bag here and take a picture of the entire raid group with the eye itself. Create a stack marker for the last phase and have a capable player pick up and photograph the raid. Don't worry if you don't get everyone, you can take multiple pictures just so long as everyone has been photographed during the last phase and has the buff photo flash, you should receive your achievement. Don't take too long or the beam will hit you. The next achievement to the nines requires a lot of organization. This achievement requires you push nine fragment debuffs onto one character to form a shard of destiny. To do so, you need to not dispel till at least three sets have been put onto the raid. Once you have nine out, you're going to need to mark up an area and have players pass their debuff onto one person. This is going to get healing intense, so either have a third tank take the debuffs or overheal the fight and save cooldowns for this point. The fourth, Tormentor's Tango, is pretty easy. The whole raid needs to type slash taunt while targeting Garrosh in chains at the top up there. Once you've done that, you receive a debuff slumming your movement by 20%. During the encounter, make sure every single player avoids being hit by torment or you all fail the achievement. To make this easy, just ensure you're calling lanes on Discord and have readily available speed buffs like Raw and Windrush for the dance phase. I used to bullseye deep run rats back at home is our fifth achievement on Remnant of Nazul. This requires you throw three orbs through two hoops when chucking them off the side. As you can see on this side of the platform, there is one stationary hoop and there's one that swings. Have your orb thrower time their throws so that the ball goes through both. You know when you've done it correctly as you'll get a message in the chat. Don't rush the DPS on this boss, but you'll have plenty of opportunities to dunk through the fight, so don't fret if you miss a shot or two. The sixth achievement, Whack a Soul, requires you pull a lever on the left just before Painsmith Rasnal here. Now, throughout the encounter, mobs spawn called Burning Gibbets. They must not get their terrifying shriek cast off, so kick and or nuke them down. They spawn in sets of two around the platform. With moderate gear, this achievement becomes really easy. The seventh achievement, Knowledge is Power, requires you pull the mob, Vazaran the Seeker, in with Guardian. He's located on the left before you walk down to the boss platform. Have your off tank keep this out of the group and ask your DPS to try not to cleave as he needs to be kept alive. Once Guardian casts Purging Protocol, bring both Guardian and Vazaren into the battery as normal. This should enlighten him and heal him to full. Kill him off and kill Guardian, but be wary, once he is enlightened, he does do an AoE knockback, which can push you out of the battery and kill you. Flawless Fate is a personal achievement on Rokolo. You might already have this achievement if you're a gamer. Just dodge the balls, dodge the beams, dodge the bombs, and you'll get this achievement. Essentially, Play this fight as it should be played. The penultimate achievement, Together Forever, requires you click a cat as you move through the raid. It first appears in the room through the first portal after Taragru. Then after petting him, he moves behind a pillar in the main room before Rasnal. After you pet him again, he'll be in Kalthazad's boss room. Have a melee player click him before the fight to put him on their head. Once this melee goes down into the phylactery, they need to use their special action button to deliver him. This makes Remnant of Kalthazad deal 500% extra damage, so don't get hit by the swirlies or the frontal. Once he's delivered, play the fight as normal and kill him off. The last achievement, This World is a Prism, requires you assign four players to sigil duty. During phase two of Sylvanas, there are four sigils hidden on platforms. One is near where you spawn, one is on the third platform at the back, one is on the fourth at the back, and one is on the fifth. 
The light blue is Kyrian and the deep blue is Nightfae, so don't get these mixed up. Once you have all four, you need to take these to their respective platforms in phase three. Each platform has a sigil on it. All carriers should hop over to their matching platform and stand on the symbol. This starts a channel which triggers a sparkly effect. Once this has been done, you can kill the boss as normal. These achievements weren't very difficult, so in a 10-man group, everyone should be able to do them. Now you can enjoy your new hand mount. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll be bringing out more mount guides, news and fun videos soon. I enjoy reading all your comments. Feel free to give me video suggestions. Take care, guys.